and a 24th century San Francisco. Picard is walking up to a building. It's the Starfleet Federation headquarters building place. <laughs> I don't know what it would be called. Would it be a headquarters? It's 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 probably it's probably Starfleet headquarters. It's always been in San Francisco. Yeah. So I I mean it, it could be the headquarters or it could be like a you know a building in the complex kind of a thing. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, we hear his voice. He says, "I have an appointment." Uh, and then you hear a man reply, "And your name, please, sir." Uh, so then we can see inside the building. There's all the glass and everything, and and it's got. You know, different types of decor, uh, probably some things that are historical. And one of the things they have above this, like the guest services area, they have a like a hologram of one of the Enterprise starships. Is that one E or D? Do you know which one that one is? Or D? Um, it's, like, it's one of the newer ones. Hang on a second, because I did actually didn't catch that when I saw it. <laughs> so, which told, is cool though. I watched it like pause, pause pause <laughs> several times <laughs> but uh i thought it was interesting so through it you can you can see people walking around in this lobby and there's someone at, there's people at the desk so i think that's enterprise d unless okay. i'm completely mistaken that should be enterprise I so. d i kind of thought so because it's from the top so like it you could probably tell a little more from the side right because they're the profiles are a little different the profiles are different, but the but the way that it's shaped with the two nacelles, the way that where the nacelles are, and actually, I don't know why I said I didn't catch this. I did see this <laughs> when I first watched it, and I had like apparently a senior moment where I didn't remember it. Um, that is the Enterprise D. Okay. I mean, unless because the Enterprise E looked more like the classic. Um, gotcha. Enterprise. This gotcha. looks like D. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Now that that's settled. <laughs> uh, so we can see them at the desk, and then the shot goes to them at the desk. The guy's wearing yellow. You know, he's a security guy. Of course, he's wearing a security color. Uh, Picard is there. He begins to spell his name, and the, the young man hands him a badge, and he says, Well, it's nice to see you up and around again. <laughs> uh, Picard doesn't looked um, overly enthused by this. <laughs> it gives him such a look like whatever it did. It's like it's like it's like a Picard version of the stink eye or whatever. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and so he just takes this badge from this kid and just puts it on and that's it. <laughs> like he doesn't say anything and it was great. <laughs> All right, so then we see, um, like, a large room filled with lights, and I wrote possibly machinery because we're not exactly sure it is. It kind of reminds me of, like, a if you went into a server room, only if it was gigantic because it's got, like, sort of flashing lights, but you can't tell. It could be a prison with holding cells. It could be massive computers. It could be just about anything. What do you... Do you have any idea what you think it might be? I'm guessing, if I had to guess... It looks like a file room. Okay. Because we've got drones going, mm -hmm. like, back and forth. This reminded me of, like, an updated version of, like, you know in those old movies where someone goes to, like, an old library mm -hmm. and they have, like, a ladder on wheels yes, and they're, like, yes, yes. kind of going back and forth looking for the book? I, that's what this reminded me of. It seems to me like this was like an archive or okay. a like library. That. Um, that's a total guess, by the way. I have no clue if I'm right about that. Oh, no, no. I, I don't mind that because, you know, the drones could be like the librarians getting things for you and bringing it to you. That's what I kind of thought. They 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 reminded me of like the Amazon drones that like yeah. drop off your, your <laughs> stuff, um, except not evil so <laughs> I, yeah like i i felt like those were the drones that got you your um, book that you wanted to read we see him walking down sort of this walkway with this woman not sure what kind of species she is if she's actually humanoid or if she could be some sort of hologram or android or something because we don't know where the android kind of business has gone Right. As of yet we hear him in a voiceover say we have an obligation to investigate um, and then you hear a woman respond, say, there is no we, Jean-Luc. 
then we see this door open, kind of like a garage door sort of come open, and we see um, several rows and columns of these bald men in red shirts standing together. They're either androids or like clones or mannequins. We don't know. <laughs> they're just they're gonna have a big sale on men's clothing, so they need to get ah, out some mannequins. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> You're gonna like the way you look. Right. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> so they all have this kind of light skin and like yellow eyes, like Data does, uh, and they're either wear they're either wearing all the same shirt or like jumpsuits because we don't really see what's on the bottom. Not that that really matters. Maybe they're not wearing any pants. They're Winnie the Poohing it. <laughs> <laughs> they are. <laughs> uh, you can see one very clearly in the front, and he has F, as in Frank. And the number eight stamped on his forehead. Um, and also over his right ear, you can see some dots. So you don't don't know if those are like plug-ins or, you know, if those are some sort of outlet or if those are like stamped on his head or embossed or whatever. So a little more mystery. We don't know if that's useful for something. Um, maybe it's Braille that also says F8. I don't know Braille. <laughs> <laughs> We see that there's someone staring at them, looking at them, who's opened this door. We don't know who it is because they're, you know, the lights on the, uh, is in the room and it's just, they're dark. So they just look like a silhouette. You have any uh, theories on who it might be? Because I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, well, this is, um. so this is the part, <clears throat> excuse me, that I alluded to earlier that there was a Screen Rant article. Okay. So Screen Rant came out with this article, I mean... It was presented as like it was fact, like this uh, this dark story is coming back from TNG. And then when you read the article, it's like, well, it might be, and it perhaps, and so, you know, so, so possible spoiler. Possible. So this is a possible spoiler. It depends if Screen Rant is right or not. But I think that they are right. So if you don't want to know, then you skip forward a couple minutes. But here is uh, the theory that, um, as you uh, Trekkers will remember, in Measure of a Man, which we will be reviewing, um, the argument that Picard uses to win the fight about Data's sentience is that if you proclaim him to be less than a sentient being, you can make thousands, hundreds of thousands of these beings and now they're a race, and now they're enslaved. So now you've basically created a, a race of slaves. Mm -hmm. um, the theory is that that's exactly what Starfleet has done here. Mm -hmm. They have um, improved upon android technology. That could be, because if you recall from the first um, trailer, B4 was disassembled in a drawer. Mm -hmm. So... And looked like he was being kept at a facility somewhere, we can presume at Starfleet. Yeah, so I, I saw in another article <laughs> that it was saying that it could that oh, maybe it was the pieces of data from what no, probably not. No, because that shuttle because he, he was, was on like, completely obliterated that entire like that whole ship, ship. was destroyed. Yeah. There was no way no. that data survived. No, no, no. That they that those pieces were so clean. No, no. Uh, that has to be before that's disassembled. I, that's absolutely what I think. Yeah. And I was just like, bah. you know, when I read that article, I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Yeah, uh, we'll post all those things, any mm -hmm. of them that we've been reading. Uh, we're gonna have lots of fun things that we're posting over the next week or so, so that we can keep you informed and uh, you know keep spoilers coming your way if you want to read them we'll yeah exactly it. we'll tag yeah, it don't worry it, it, it'll be click at your own risk because yeah. <laughs> they may contain spoilers so i i think what's happening here is i think starfleet has done just that i think they've built upon the work of dr sung and i think that they have created uh, i think they have created androids and they to do like basically the menial work that humans don't want to do or the work that's too dangerous to send in like a quote unquote real person mm -hmm. um so i mean today in 2019 like we have you know p cops have um robots yeah. that they send in like to you know disassemble bombs mm -hmm. or collect bombs but those robots aren't sentient like mm -hmm. they don't have a will of their own they can't reason or think um they're just 
programmable robots. That's all they are. And they don't so, look humanoid, so you can't no, feel they, sorry for them. <laughs> exactly. This appears to be that Starfleet has done what Picard argued against in that trial, that they have created a race of android slaves. If that's the case, I don't know how they fit into what appears to be the heavy Borg plot, but maybe they created them to fight the Borg? I have no clue Mm -hmm. but i think that starfleet has done this thing and i think it's going to shake picard to his to his core and be like this is not the starfleet i know so this really reminded me of i'm sorry star wars um even more sorry the prequels um (laughs) so in in the second one even even more sorry uh (laughs) <laughs> I think it's the worst one. Anyway. It is the I worst digress. one. Sorry, Star Wars fans. It's the and, worst one. <laughs> um, you know, Obi-Wan goes and sees that they're making all these clones to be an army and all that. And, you know, he's with those long-necked aliens. And what's funny is, like, the look of this woman that he's walking with is reminds me of them, even though they have big, long necks. And I cannot remember what kind of aliens they are. Do not at me, because I don't care. <laughs> Aren't they like uh, Geonosians or something? Uh, yes, they is are. That, is that what they're called? Did Geonosians, I make that up? Yeah, yes. Okay. Good job. Good job remembering. Thanks. I was ranting, so I didn't <laughs> didn't access that part of my brain. Anyway, but it just sort of reminded me of that. Or if you've seen The Winter Soldier, where uh, Cap, Captain America and Nick Fury are talking about these... these uh, analytics they've got to figure out who's going to be bad people kind of like minority report and then they can you know get rid of them or whatever all that kind of thing and they've got all these warships to do this kind of thing like you see like it's like the good guy is coming into this bad situation that he didn't realize was happening Mm -hmm. you know like this is where he's going to find out all of this stuff Or, you know, Picard may have already found this stuff and then he's going and getting, you know, proof or something. I don't know. Right. Uh, But we hear him say back to the the woman who said there's no we. He says, Admiral, I am standing up for the Federation for what it should represent. It turns out it's, you know, it's an Admiral. He's a Starfleet. He's in her office. He's standing up. Now, this is the woman he went to visit. We see that in the la- the first trailer, right? Where he goes to sit down with her. Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, I don't know what her name is. I just know she's an admiral. I couldn't figure out who she was. Sorry. <laughs> Do you know who, who it is? No, unless it's some obscure character that they're bringing back. Right. I'm not, I'm, I don't really know who this is supposed to be. Right, and I don't know who this actress is either. So it was hard, you know, those tiny little pictures on IMDb. And yeah, some of them didn't have character names, and none of them had admiral as part of their name. So, it's, so we'll just find out in January. <laughs> but we know from this statement that there is something wrong with Starfleet. They have done something bad, and he is not happy about it. Right. So it probably. I I, is. I have to say when she says to him. This is no longer your house, Jean Luc. Yep. That that really hurt me. Like, mm-hmm. and and it, it had to have hurt him too because he just goes, he leaves looking so like shook. Oh, like oh. I cannot believe it's it's not even that happened. she just says that. She also tells him to go home after that, as if he didn't already yeah. want to go home after oh. she's like. This ain't your business, you know? <laughs> like, it's almost like her saying, like, go lay down and let the adults handle yes, this. Yes, yes. Like, Why don't you go is, play with yeah. your toys? Go go tend to your vineyard and let all of the actual people in charge deal with things. Mm-hmm. And, totally. Yeah, we see him on an escalator, and he just looks so distraught. It's so sad and heartbreaking. Don't do this to Jean-Luc. I know. It's terrible. So, we have a shot outside. We see a couple with an umbrella. It looks like they're looking in a window. It gets a little closer, and you see, like, some... So, it's, like, maybe, like, a screen slash window, like, has projections on it. And you can see, looks like Picard's face. 
Yeah, we saw some 